In the annals of history, few figures have shaped the course of civilizations as profoundly as Emperor Constantine the Great. Born in the turbulent 3rd century AD, Constantine would rise to become a pivotal figure not only in the Roman Empire, but also in the history of Christianity. This scene sets up the overarching theme of the film, highlighting the immense impact of Constantine on both Roman and Christian history. The visuals of Roman landscapes emphasize the vast and powerful empire that Constantine would inherit and ultimately transform. During his early years, he was deeply immersed in the demanding and often harsh realities of military life, as he accompanied his father on numerous campaigns throughout the vast expanse of the empire. This constant exposure to the strategic maneuvers, the disciplined lifestyle, and the tumultuous nature of warfare profoundly shaped his understanding and perspective on leadership and resilience from a young age. In the early 4th century AD, the Roman Empire was undergoing significant transformations. Amidst this backdrop of political upheaval and cultural change, emerged a figure who would leave an indelible mark on history. Emperor Constantine the Great. Born in 272 AD in Nisus, modern-day Nish, Serbia, Constantine was the son of Constantius Chlorus, a respected general in the Roman army. His early life was spent amidst the rigors of military campaigns and the intrigues of imperial politics. By the late 3rd century AD, the Roman Empire was in crisis, beset by civil wars and external threats. Emperor Diocletian instituted the Tetrarchy, dividing power between four co-emperors to stabilize the empire. Constantine's father, Constantius Chlorus, became one of these co-emperors, Tetrarchs, exposing Constantine to imperial governance from a young age. In the summer of 306 AD, Constantius Chlorus, a prominent figure in the Roman Empire, passed away while leading a military campaign in Britain. His death set off a series of pivotal events that would reshape the Roman political landscape. Almost immediately after his passing, Constantius's troops, recognizing the need for a strong and familiar leader, proclaimed his son, Constantine, as their new leader. This unexpected elevation thrust Constantine into the complex and often perilous arena of Roman politics. It marked the beginning of his journey toward becoming one of the most influential emperors in Roman history as he navigated the treacherous waters of power struggles, alliances, and military conflicts that defined the era. Constantine's journey to becoming the sole ruler of the Roman Empire was fraught with conflict and pivotal battles. One of the most significant moments occurred in 312 AD, during the Battle of the Milvian Bridge near Rome. Constantine faced his formidable rival, Maxentius, in a showdown that would determine the fate of the Western Roman Empire. According to legend, on the eve of the battle, Constantine experienced a profound vision. He saw a Christian symbol, often described as the Chiro, accompanied by the words, In this sign, you will conquer. Inspired by this vision, Constantine ordered his soldiers to adorn their shields with the symbol. The ensuing battle saw Constantine's forces achieve a decisive victory over Maxentius, who drowned in the Tiber River during the chaotic retreat. This triumph not only solidified Constantine's position as the Western Roman Emperor, but also marked a turning point in his relationship with Christianity, setting the stage for his future endorsement of the religion and its spread throughout the empire. After consolidating his power in the Western Roman Empire, Constantine made a monumental decision that would have far-reaching effects on the religious landscape of the empire. In 313 AD, he issued the Edict of Milan, a proclamation that granted religious tolerance to Christians throughout the empire. This decree was co-authored with Licinius, who ruled the eastern part of the empire, and it represented a significant departure from the previous policies of persecution that Christians had endured under earlier emperors, such as Diocletian. The Edict of Milan not only legalized Christianity, but also restored properties and places of worship that had been confiscated from Christians. This move signaled Constantine's growing favor towards Christianity, reflecting his belief that the religion could serve as a unifying force within the empire. 
The edict also laid the groundwork for the eventual Christianization of the Roman Empire, as Constantine continued to support the church through various means, including the commissioning of new churches, the promotion of Christian leaders to influential positions, and the convening of the First Council of Nicaea in 325 AD. This policy shift marked a pivotal moment in the history of Christianity, transitioning it from a persecuted sect to a dominant and officially sanctioned religion within the Roman Empire. Constantine's ambitions extended beyond the West. In 324 AD, he defeated his rival Licinius, becoming the sole ruler of the Roman Empire. He then established a new capital in the East, Constantinople, strategically located between Europe and Asia Minor. Constantine convened the First Council of Nicaea in 325 AD, bringing together Christian bishops from various regions to resolve doctrinal disputes that had been causing significant division within the early Christian community. This council was a landmark event in the history of Christianity, as it aimed to establish theological unity and address controversies such as the Arian controversy, which questioned the nature of Christ's divinity. The council produced the Nicene Creed, a statement of faith that articulated the orthodox understanding of the Trinity and Christ's relationship to the Father, which became a foundational element of Christian doctrine. The decisions made at Nicaea were crucial in shaping the future of Christian theology and ecclesiastical structure, marking a pivotal moment in the consolidation of the Christian faith under a unified doctrinal framework. Constantine's reign was marked by administrative reforms. He reorganized the Roman government, creating new administrative divisions and appointing loyal officials to oversee them. This restructuring aimed to strengthen imperial control and efficiency. Constantine's conversion to Christianity was gradual, influenced by personal experiences and political calculations. Though he embraced Christianity publicly, his policies often reflected a pragmatic approach, balancing religious considerations with the demands of governing a diverse empire. Despite his Christian faith, Constantine retained aspects of Roman paganism. He continued to participate in traditional religious ceremonies and maintained a diverse religious policy, allowing freedom of worship throughout the empire. In his later years, Constantine faced challenges within his family over succession. He attempted to secure a stable imperial succession by naming his three sons as Caesars, but internal strife persisted after his death. Constantine died in 337 AD in Ancyrona, modern-day Turkey, leaving behind a mixed legacy. His death marked the end of an era and ushered in a period of dynastic struggles that would shape the future of the Roman Empire. Constantine's legacy is complex and multifaceted. He is remembered for his contributions to Christianity, the reunification of the Roman Empire, and his administrative reforms. However, his reign also marked a turning point in Roman history paving the way for the Byzantine Empire and influencing the course of Western civilization. The Arch of Constantine in Rome stands as a monument to his achievements, depicting scenes from his military campaigns and religious policies. It symbolizes his impact on Roman society and his role in shaping the early Christian church. Historians continue to debate Constantine's motivations and the long-term effects of his reign. While he brought stability and religious tolerance to the empire, his policies also had unintended consequences, including the institutionalization of Christianity and the decline of traditional Roman religions. Constantine's establishment of Constantinople ensured the city's prominence as a center of culture, commerce, and political power for centuries to come. It would serve as the capital of the Eastern Roman Empire, Byzantine Empire, until its fall in 1453 AD. Constantine's patronage of Christianity profoundly influenced its development. He promoted the construction of churches, sponsored Christian clergy, and convened councils to settle theological disputes. His policies accelerated the spread of Christianity throughout the empire and beyond. The Hagia Sophia, originally built under Constantine's patronage, became one of the most significant Christian churches in the world. Its construction symbolized the growing influence of Christianity under imperial sponsorship. In conclusion, Emperor Constantine the Great's legacy is one of complexity and contradiction, reflecting the turbulent era in which he lived. His impact on religion, politics, and culture reverberates through history, making him a figure of enduring fascination and scholarly inquiry.
Thanks for watching.